Are you worried about this so-called looming war that everyone seems to be so obsessed with? And, you know, nowadays, every time there is some stupidly idiotic theme in the mainstream media, it's like all the gophers in the world, all the dumb people in the world, they suddenly become experts and analysts overnight. Now everyone, every, you know, even children nowadays uh, are experts in, you know, military decisions and geopolitical analysis and as such. And, you know, every person around the corner of your block, you know, is a highly specialized undercover military analyst with an accent on anal. And most likely that's kind of all. So, all these people nowadays predicting you that there's going to be a war, there's going to be a nuclear war, they quote Einstein and, you know, the world is all doom and gloom and, you know, people simply don't realize that this, this situation actually serves Putin a lot. Many people predict that he's going to engage the next week. Some people said he will engage, you know, um, on actually, you know, the lover's day or whatever you call that special day where gophers you know suddenly realize they have to do something nice uh, you know towards the person that is so-called love but see when it comes to such situations there is one simple thing to always take into account the mainstream media's purpose is to always make sure that you're not gonna have an easy life you're not gonna have you know, happy life, and you're definitely not going to live in anything else rather than fear. Because, obviously, fear sells the best, and, you know, they actually are a bit kind of dependent upon making sure that you live every day, every moment of your life in even more fear. So, uh, today I've been called by someone, and, you know, they were one of these so-called uh, statistics analysts and you know they would ask you certain questions what you believe about this what you believe about that uh, what your opinion is about you know political parties and the such and uh, they say uh, they asked me what my opinion is about the war i said why don't i drop a video in which i explain it because well you see when you ask me about questions that you know are far beyond my potential and you know You'd require probably a long time for a specialist, like a real military specialist, to, you know, present you points and the such. See, out of my non-professional knowledge, I know that Russia will never dare to attack. Because, obviously, they're too good for such a war. And if you look at how things go, analytically speaking, it's more like the West seems to be provoking Russia rather than vice versa. Because they're amassing weapons, they're giving weapons to all the countries around. And it's obvious that the Russians would feel a bit threatened because when the enemy, or well, the so-called enemy, because it's nothing else than an illusion in a sick society, when the enemy is, you know, preparing for an illusionary enemy, but they're on your doorstep, well, you have to be a bit... You have to be, you know, uh, well prepared, I might say, because, you know, the Russians aren't fighting anyone, but the Europeans are fighting an illusionary foe. It's all there in their head. And now their mass media is doing all these cover-ups and they're saying that the Russians will be engaging and each and every day there's a new war starting or there's a war to be started. But I've been hearing about... Russia attacking Romania and, you know, the countries around, like years before even the pandemic started, thanks to one of our retarded television programs. You know, there's always a war in their minds, right? It's always a war in their head. And, you know, even my grandmother, who would spend all her day stuck in the television listening to the you know, the news broadcast, she would believe that, you know, they are the truth speakers, they are telling you the truth. Right? It's like, uh, they never lie because obviously you can't, ex you can't ever expect 
you know, the mainstream to ever lie. Well, actually, in a sick society, you know, the mainstream media never lies. That is, if you know what to understand between the lines, because they're always telling you whatever is not happening. That's one quote that I heard from someone. I only watch the television and the mainstream media, right, and the news flash, right, to see what they're not speaking about. Because every time there is something regarding a protest, everything there's something regarding, you know, things that really isn't, you know, something uh, linear, right, to the propaganda that, you know, some pathetic sick fox, you know, tell everyone to speak about. You see, then every, every time they try to belittle that, right? They initially said it's just a few thousand truck. It's just a few truckers. It's just something like that. It is just a small movement in Canada. It doesn't have anything to do with, you know, a uh, country, you know, wide scale, um, you know, event. No, it is just something minor. In all the countries, everyone is just complacent with the pandemic, right? And there's just a few, uh, you know, frustrated people, right-wing people or whatever names, stupid names, because only idiots need names for others. And you see, there is a group, there is a bunch of people, right? Some sad asses in this world that believe that everything must be owned by them, right? And these sorry asses, right? They need validation in their life. And the only validation in their life that they will ever get is their own validation, because the only way they can validate their sorry existences is by, you know, giving themselves godhood titles and, you know, claiming that they are kings of this world and that they can do anything with you know, the people and the such, and they have all these fantasies that humanity will simply, like, willingly bow and submit to their idiocy, right? And obviously they don't like it, and most likely they're shaking in their boots when they see that, you know, people actually stand against them. Because, you see, when you trigger the hornet's nest, you know, such sorry asses actually become scared that the hornets actually are united and they fight against them. Because when you have a bunch of ignorant people, when you have ruled humanity for thousands of years and kept them in ignorance, well, we as humans have been trampled upon, right? And what is the world they wanted for us? Well, a world in which you simply get experimented upon with all sorts of little substances, and then if you simply would survive the process, you'd most likely end up in a hospital where you would be you know, legally exterminated, because apparently now hospitals are worse than Auschwitz, and, well, apparently lots of corrupted medics actually enjoy killing people because they believe that's the new normal. So when it comes to living in such a sick society, you know, it's horrifying for such people, you know, for such sorry asses, when they realize that, you know, the future that, uh, you know, they have worked so hard is simply no longer, never going to exist. See, when you're just a sorry ass, you know, who has to rely on manipulation to rule people. See, people may be dumb, people may be naive, but this sick society simply doesn't want people anymore because there is always problems with people. Why do you think there is so much push towards cybernetics, right? The metaverse, the universe of the dead, right? Because meta means beyond life. Meta means, in the old Greek, it means death. It means nothing alive. If you ever end up believing that those pixels that you see moving around in virtual realities is life, well, most likely you've never been touched by life, so you'll probably be existing a, you know, sad existence. Because if you don't ever get touched by life, you will never realize what it means to be alive. So you'll only be you know, existing in misery. And internal misery is very wrong, it's very powerful, and there is a reason why humanity has been kept in such misery. Because when you live in such misery for a lifetime, you will get, in your future lifetimes, you will be easier to be programmed since birth that you are useless. This is how you rule 
humanity. This is how you've become people pleaser in different lifetimes that you've gone through. Because chances are if you watch a video of mine or videos of people who are waking others up, well, you've gone through such things before. So the point is, why would I ever trust the mainstream media? Like, you know, it's not called the media for nothing. Media, as a word, has its etymology, or let's call it its roots, in a Greek word, which is Medea. Medea is a goddess. She is the goddess of deceit. Now, if you realize that English is made out of a lot of, you know, occult words, or used in a way that, you know, they actually portray you a certain truth, but it's well hidden, unless you have some knowledge about it, well then, unfortunately, you're gonna suffer a lot, because this world has a lot of suffering to give. This world is represented by what I call pain traders. There's a lot of these in this world. All they do is they show their sorry asses on television and they start popping up all sorts of stories. Technically, what they're doing is they're showing you their pains and, well, they're doing that in a very captivating way for people who are naive and you're gonna spend your time absorbing that pain and becoming one with other people's pains. And then you're gonna wonder why you feel so sad and so bad but nothing bad's happening in your life. Well, keep consuming the poisons that this world gives you and, well, you'll probably realize sooner or later that you've been simply fed poisons all your time. Ever since you were born, most likely your parents never wanted you. Most parents just give birth to children because of, you know, parental pressures. When are you gonna find yourself a girl? When are you gonna find yourself a boy? When are you gonna get married and have children like everyone else? It's like all the gophers in the world are suffering and suddenly they're also interested in you suffering as well. Because they were dumb enough to find people who, you know, they're so-called halves, but, you know, half a person and another half a person, they together make one single person. But they are two distinct, distinct people, right? So, if you're half a person, if you don't know who and what you are, you'll always find people who are inappropriate for you. And then, well, you'll only have the so-called karmic relationships. So, don't go around asking people why you're constantly having, you know, karmic relationships. Because when it comes to questions about you, who you truly are, the problem with most people is they always ask other people questions that they themselves should answer. That's why you have so many people believing in the so-called news. Because when you ask who you are, the only answer that you will find is within you. When you ask who you are, for example, the problem is who answers you the question. Because if you don't know who you are, some gophers in this society can barely wait for you because they see you as a naive target, as someone who can be easily manipulated to serve their, you know, non-governmental organizations or something, who, you know, constantly seek frustrated and confused people to simply convert them into usable resources. Because, you know, there's this huge, you know, hideous term that, you know, it's like people simply love it. I mean, if you go to a corporation, you get called human resources. And I actually asked someone, it's like, do you have a child? And she said, yes, I do have a daughter. And would you like to come her, would you like for her to come and work for you? Yeah, sure, obviously. I actually have great plans, she said. Obviously, some dumb corporatist parent. And I told her, and how would you call her? You know, human resources come to mama or, you know. And people actually started laughing and, you know, she was very pissed because, you know, people don't like being told the truth because obviously why would you tell them the truth? I mean, you know, there's, there's other ways you could punish people. You could take vengeance upon them. And I said, no, I'm not here to take vengeance on anyone. I'm just here to remind people that they're only playing some psychiatry games there in their, in their cuckoo brain, right? The mind can be used for much greater things than creating misery in your life and then expecting everyone else to also suffer. You see, you create pain in your mind, okay? That's like taking poison. You die, okay? Not someone else. Because when you create poison for yourself and you expect others to also suffer, it's like 
taking poison and you expect someone else to die instead. Don't be that stupid, okay? When it comes to a sick society, manipulation is the only thing that can happen. Because, as I said, there are some sorry asses in this world, and the only bit of attention they can have is, you know, the titles that they can give themselves. As you can see, all these mainstream media, you know, uh, organizations, BBC, CNN, and the such. See, the awards that they get, all of them are fake. They gather themselves in their tiny circles, right, of brain dead people or well i'm not i'm not even sure if they're people because their stupidity level seems to be going beyond that of regular human stupidity most likely they are some kind of you know ai is designed in some laboratory now obviously this is my opinion i wouldn't be surprised if it would suddenly be proven real and well at least they made xenobots you know biological creatures that are also partly cybernetic and they're capable of you know reproducing they also made microchips right to be inserted in your body because that's what the european union is busy with right there's definitely no pandemic out out there there's definitely no need for people to have real hospitals right but at least they're gonna teach children about masturbation and you know other sexual aspects in the kindergartens right and they're gonna learn that you know uh, you know there are beings right suffering menstrual cycles right it's not women it's not girls there are beings right because what's more important to them is you know the transsexual part of humanity right they even call it transsexual right because trans means something that transcended something so they're gonna present you every day the idea of transsexuals as the superhuman, right? Human 2.0. And at the same time, human 2.0 will be, you know, those sorry asses who will choose to become one with the machines because, well, see, if you're not touched by life, you'll always live in misery. You'll always live a misfulfilled existence. Just like the sorry asses who believe they are some kind of gods of this world, constantly printing given more dollars because they're never rich enough for their poor ass egos, right? And they're now buying space because they don't have anything to do with their money, right? They're buying space. They Sooner or later, they're going to buy the whole universe. And then probably they're going to move to different dimensions. And, you know, they're going to buy those dimensions as well because, you know, their sorry ass is what can you expect from some, you know, people beyond sanity. They just gather in between themselves and they decide some prices. They decide that, you know, this planet has a certain price and the moon has a certain price. And, you know, they in between themselves say that, okay, this part of the moon is mine. This part of the Mars planet is mine. And, you know, it's like, these are the guys that, you know, want to decide your future, right? Lovable, right? And then obviously... There are a lot of dumb people who actually see these people as, you know, some kind of God-sent creatures, right? Because if you're a miserable creature who's never been touched by life, you cannot accept anything else rather than what some other miserable people are telling you. Because miserable people learn one thing in life, that they are alone. And they have to manipulate people. And the problem is, when you manipulate people, well, you can find people who are even greater sorry asses than you, and once they find someone else to distract their lives with, well, they will simply teach you, so you'll still be alone. And, you know, such people, they're never friends. That's why they want machines in this world, right? Because machines never betray you, right? Machines can be programmed to do whatever, and, you know, machines are the perfect embodiment of subservience. That's why they want humans in machines. Because once you join a machine body in the universe that they built, the point is they will have full control over you because they can turn you off whenever they want. Right? So that's what they want. The ultimate control over humanity. And, well, humanity has to decide whether they want to join this sick dance of, you know insanity turned sane and you know lies turned into a so-called truth well you see the mass media can be easily proved as being liars because the only thing that they do is constantly repeat things 
right? They want to make sure, because when when you are suspicious of literally everything, like every sorry ass is, well, you always want to repeat people's things because you are never sure that they got your uh, message, right? They always want to be seen in a certain light, in a certain way. And the point is, they constantly have to repeat it again and again and again and again. I've gone through these type of behaviors. Not me, that's, I've seen people who act like that. They constantly repeat every day of your life, every certain thing that they dislike, that they like, that the way they want you to see them, and that's it. And I've been telling people, see, only, not, only lies need to be repeated. Because only lies you have to rehearse, because lies can only be supported by further lies. The truth is out there. You don't have to support it. Because whether the sun shines or not, that's not your decision. It shines of its own accord. If you don't believe that the sun shines, well, that's your own psychiatry. But the sun is there. You don't need to prove that water boils at 100 degrees on this planet. Because on other planets, things and physics and other laws of the universe that we know are simply most likely going to be different. Probably not in this solar system, but in another solar system, they're going to be different. Because there's a different star, the star most likely emits a different light wave, and then, well, the solar system has a certain size, the star has a certain size, there are a certain number of planets, and that dictates the own perfection of that solar system, and also the, ro the laws and rules that apply there, which most likely will be different than ours. So, when it comes to life in a sick society, you're always going to be repeated things. Like, we've heard about the war against Russia and Russia wanting to conquer the whole world. You know, the analysts constantly explaining you, right? And uh, they're always using talk shows to present your stuff. But just remember one thing. They're called talk shows. They're not called wisdom shows. They're not called, you know, introspection shows. They're just called talk shows. Some fuckers come in there. They don't have any idea what they're speaking about, but they're speaking about things for hours on end. You have to be kind of a sorry ass to actually do that because you're not transmitting anything to people, but you're just keeping them distracted. So, well, it's not a problem that there are such people who do this. It's a huge problem that there are people to actually spend their time watching such sorry asses, right? So, you see, only lies need to be rehearsed. The truth only needs support. Only in a, in a profoundly sick society when the truth has been declared as a lie and people have to constantly repeat that so that others also realize what those lies actually are and that they're actually the truth and that poison which they've been fed all the time is technically you know nothing else than you know lies and only lies need to be repeated because you can only support lies with further layers of lies once you started lying, there's usually no way back until everything falls down and someone presents the truth for you. Because even people who lie, in many cases they actually know they do. To some people it's even a drug activity, right? They've started it and they simply can't stop it, right? The only thing they do is they just lie and they just love the thrill of it, creating even further lies and they actually have a passion, right? They have a thrill for seeing whether people believe their story, and if they don't, they will come up with even further layers and the such. That's how twisted some people are. See, if you're asking me how many books about psychology I've read, see, Introspection is a far better book. It's not written by anyone, it's written by the universe itself. If you open yourself to yourself, and you read you who you truly are, will discover far more than books will ever tell you, because books nowadays, everyone can write books, and whatever they do is they write their own opinions, they beat the bush around, and there you have it, you've got 200 pages of a book that, well, can be more or less summarized in 40 or 50 pages, and, well, you could easily have discovered the answer if you looked close enough within you. So all this being said, you are appreciated, take care, don't fall for the illusions of sick societies because a sick society's purpose is to constantly disempower you by keeping you distracted. 
And as I've told you, if some people are sorry yes is enough that, you know, they can only gain attention by giving themselves godhood titles, well, I don't see a bright future for anyone who follows such sorry asses. Because ultimately, if their purpose is to kill you because there are some gods in this world and they decide that they suddenly want no more humans on this planet and no more animals on this planet because that's how twisted and demented they are, well, it's your problem if you follow such people and you believe that they're right. All this being said, you are appreciated, take care, enjoy life, become introspective, and you'll see that things and answers that you constantly seek are there within you. And all this being said, take care. Ferenc Jan Board signing out.